We're going to have sour beef, red cabbage, green beans. Homemade dumplings. And homemade dumplings. And wonderful gravy. The Sour Beef Festival comes from our ancestors. Gemütlichkeit. Coziness, comfortableness, welcome. This church has become known for this. We have yeah. over a thousand people come through our doors. This recipe comes from a hundred years of cooking experience. The sour beef is a mixture of a sweet and a sour. But sauerbrot is the extra word for it. And we marinate the meat for like five days. Oh my gosh, 500 pounds of meat, buckets and buckets of marinade. It takes a whole day to cut up all this meat. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. I'm just gonna eat this. Cut all the meat up, put it in the pans, get it ready for the gravy. The gravy is is the is the is everything. We have four antique iron pots. They're about this big around. The pots, they're huge. You can like hide small children in them. If you want me to come down to sour beef and help make gravy, you get rid of those pots and I'm not coming to help. I call them magic pots. They, they just make the gravy taste good and it makes the meat taste good. The purpose of the gravy is to enhance the meal. This essence that's in here has been cooked with the meat and then we add crushed ginger snaps. The ginger snaps it, it make thickens the, the sauce right. and it takes the tartiness away from the sour. Then we put a little bit of salt in. Scoop of sugar. And then we just stir it. It's like this. This is what happens. And you stand there and you stir and you stir and you stir. I'm going to be 89 and I'm rolling dumplings. <laughs> In the state of Bavaria, we call them knudel. You have to roll it in your hand, not like what George is doing. He's fiddling too much with it. You have to roll it in your hand. We will make uh, 13 boards, and there are 136 on a board, so you're going to figure it out. <laughs> and it's not just the beef, it's also the dumplings. There's a secret to the dumplings, in case oh, you don't know. We have a magic in the dumplings. There, there is a crouton in the center of the dumplings. Yeah. Supposedly, it makes them a little bit lighter. And it is just the croutons make all the difference. Soon, people will be here. Yeah, I'm getting a little nervous. We have a whole crew doing vegetables. We have a whole another crew doing dumplings. We have to make sure all the gravy's ready and everything's hot and ready to go. There is no real quote unquote recipe. But what's the best compliment we get? When we hear people say, it tastes just like my grandmother made. That's right. That is the best compliment. Yeah, that's it. I can taste the ginger snaps. Definitely taste the vinegar. Sometimes it's sweeter than other years, and right. sometimes it has a tang, and it's just, it's to taste. People love this kind of stuff. They come from all over because they just want to be part of this wonderful traditional event. Why did we do sour beans? But this church was founded as um, a distinctly German church, right. and so this is one way of maintaining the German heritage. Right. Germans had a huge impact in Baltimore. We had the breweries, the architecture of City Hall. There were three major waves of immigration. And yeah, Locust Point at one point did become a, a second or the third largest immigration port. Um, at one point, Baltimore was 50% German. Gemütlichkeit. Very festive, happy. We've been coming for like 10 years maybe, and now her kids are coming and my daughter as well. It's a great tradition. We just enjoy the music and the food and just get, gathering as a family and celebrating my grandfather's heritage. It makes you feel good. Yeah. You, you, you need it when you get a little bit older. Oh, 
Oh, the sour beef's delicious. As good as my grandmother's. That's all I can tell you. That schmecks are good. Wonder bar. <laughs> People are having a great time. The food's phenomenal. What more could you ask for? It's just such a good feeling to make everybody be in one space at one time and enjoying something that you've been a part of. But everybody's German for at least one day. Absolutely. <laughs>